Where are you, where are you going to be? Poppy, just around here. Uh, you know, to continue, you know, what we were saying, uh, I think it is a lot of fun. And I think, you know, that's certainly one reason that we won't give it up, that we like to do it. Uh, but I think it, it's, it goes deeper than that. I think there are, uh, there's a kind of fulfillment that one gets that you can't get any, that we can't get any, any way else. I mean, other people can do it in other ways. And there's an, another quote from uh, The Denial of Death, uh, the Becker book, that uh, I think is interesting as it relates. Uh, the key to the creative type is that he is separated out of the common pool of shared meanings. There is something in his life experience that makes him take in the world as a problem. As a result, he has to make personal sense out of it. This holds true for all creative people to a greater or lesser extent, but it is especially obvious with the artist. Existence becomes a problem that needs an ideal answer, but when you no longer accept the collective solution to the problem of existence, then you must fashion your own. The work of art is then the ideal answer of the creative type to the problem of existence as he takes it in, not only the existence of the external world, but especially his own who he is as a painfully separate person with nothing shared to lean on. He has to answer to the burden of his extreme individuation, his so p painful isolation. He wants to know how to earn immortality as a result of his own unique gifts. His creative work is at the same time the expression of his heroism and the justification of it. It is his private religion. Its uniqueness gives him personal immortality it is his own beyond and not that of others. All right. <laughs>